Happy Mother's Day, everyone. I know it's the night before, but um, I probably won't be doing a video tomorrow. This is Johnny Tabasco14 from here on YouTube and my eBay store. And I just wanted to show you a couple of um, yard sale things and some things I was working on real quick. And wish everybody out there, all of the mamas, a happy Mother's Day. Um, first of all, I'll just show you this, and this is only just, this is the start of this book. Um, I'm in a swap on Creating the Crafty Life, and Leslie, Texas girl, is my swap partner. And um, we are trading many books. I'm not sure how many this book is, but it's a book. Anyway, um, here I'll show it to you this, this way. This is actually the back of the book with this fringe. Isn't that gorgeous? You know, she loves purple, so. Um, this is actually a vintage hanky that, um, I can't even tell you how long I've had this hanky, but I've had it for a really long time, and as you can see, it's all embroidered with a beautiful flower with lavender and purple flower, and I, I folded it and folded it and folded it till I got it just right, and then I glued it all together, and I made it into a pocket and then of course there's a Lucy tag in there for her and um, the inside is as you can tell is not done as I said I just really got started on it um, here's part of a page that's finished and um, <laughs> that was stuck there's a um, reversible I love Lucy tag with some ball fringe on it and I just put some lace here to hold it and then this side's gonna have a picture in it and then I don't want to show you the front yet but anyway this is the start of the mini album for Leslie and this is uh, like a, a canvas that's uh, all sewn together here that um, is gonna make it makes the book so so far I think it's coming out really cool and I love the way that the back came out with the hanky I think it's beautiful. I could not find any lavender or purple, purple lace anywhere by the yard, so I glimmer misted this. Um, you can see it better on this one. Um, this was actually beige, I think. I glimmer misted it and turned it lavender. And then the same thing with this trim that has some sparkles, it has some sequins and stuff in it. I um, glimmer misted that, and um, even this piece of lace here. I glimmer misted it and let it dry really, really well to turn it into something lavender or purple. So that's my start of my swap for Sweet Leslie, Texas Girl. Um, so let me move that aside. As I've been showing you, I've been doing a lot of these um, bobbins, thread bobbins that SS Crafter had shown, and I am so addicted to doing them, I cannot even begin to tell you. Love, 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 love how they are and they're painted <clears throat> in all different colors I have some white ones that are just drying I have a bunch that are already dry um, like here this one was actually this is not was not a thread spool this big one was actually one of those things that you roll around on your back to actually here I'll show you a mini one um, here's a mini one and these are like the little massagers. This has to still be painted. But this was part of that lace I glimmer misted and I it was all wrinkled so I I rolled it out on here so it would dry flat. But that's what this one is. And I love these. So I have quite a few of them done. Probably oh, 25 or 30 of them painted and embellished on the top. And so this is blue and turquoise and yellow and white and black and that's another yellow this one is gold I think this one's lavender yeah you can see the bottom of lavender this is a dark pink another black one with red on the top so I could put my red lace and this is a blue one I also have them done in um, oh I just got that some done some painted in silver so I love these and I have them in a glass jar that is just a round glass jar but I'm going to need like five or six glass jars before I'm finished. 
So, um, today I went yard selling and, well, first of all, I'll show you what's in the glass jar. Went to a yard sale and I got these. This is a padded hanger and this one's already finished and pretty and padded. And then these actually have foam on them. Anyway, I got all four of these for a dollar, quarter a piece, and needless to say, I am going to shabby chic and flower these up, and um, I can't wait to do that with them and then have some crafty stuff to hang around. So that was part of my thing. Then I bought this jar, actually at a thrift store, and it's huge. It was $2.99, but if you... I bought them for them because... I, I'm going to need like three really big ones, but they'll fit in there. Quite a few of them will fit in there. So that was for the bobbins. And then at another yard sale, I got her. And she's still... Yeah, did you hear that? A blink. <laughs> it really does weigh a lot. Um, a quarter. And it's just like a, a mannequin, but uh, like a bust of a mannequin with flowers all over it. And I don't even think I'm going to do anything to it. I'm going to put it up on the shelf with the 30 mannequins or so I have already. But I certainly could not resist her for a quarter. Um, she's really cool. And then as you know, everybody's been on the milk glass train for the candy stations. So, I've got a couple of pieces already that I have had. But today, for some reason, it was everywhere. Mostly vases, but that's okay. Okay, um, first of all, this one. And it was a nickel. This one, which is a very common one. As you can see, it was a quarter. This one was also a quarter. The tag is off because it, it had to get washed. It had a little mark up at the top. So this was another one that was a quarter. Um, this one I bought at a thrift store and this one was 95 cents. This one at the same thrift store was 35 cents and this one also at the thrift store was 35 cents. And last, oh no not lastly because the bargain was this one. This one at the same thrift store, and this is a grapevine pattern of the milk glass. This is old and it's a pressed glass. I used to have an antique store, so it was called Deja Vu Antiques and More. Ah, oh, I love that store. But anyway, that was a long time ago. Um, this was $2.99 at um, the thrift store, and something like this in my store going back um, almost 20 years ago would have been, you know, $35. So definitely a good buy. This one, at a yard sale. I have not washed this one yet. The tag, I took the tag off, which was silly, but it is the hobnail, which is, might even, it might be Fenton, it could be so old, because Fenton, in the beginning, did not etch their stuff. They used to um, have a paper tag. In fact, this, this does have oh, something on it. Let me see if I can read it. No, I'm too old and too blind, and it's too dark in here, so I don't know. But anyway, gorgeous, beautiful. It, she has to get washed yet. But a nickel. One nickel. The same place I bought one of the other ones, the vases, for a nickel. I, I was like in a state of shock, so needless to say, you know, it came home with me. Um, then I got three of these, which... Um, it's still, if you can see, it has water residue in it because I washed it. I have them drying, and they all three of them have the lids. And I bought these at a um, the same thrift store. And these were from uh, Milk, Organic Milk. And I think they're so cool. And I think they were 95 cents each. So I could not resist for 95 cents. I'm almost done. I really didn't get a whole lot. Actually, my husband was the one who really, really scored. He got a NASCAR jacket. He collects anything NASCAR. And he has between 25 and 35 NASCAR jackets. And we found a gorgeous M&M one today, one that he did not have, that I know sells for around 200 It's a Chase. And um, 
the gentleman had $30 on it. We offered him 20 and he took it. And so he is euphoric. He spent more money than me, of course, because he got the jacket. And then he got a NASCAR mug, a NASCAR do-rag, and a NASCAR number eight uh, junior's um, Christmas stocking, one of the mini ones for a quarter. Okay, and so I'm almost finished. Yes, I am. Okay, then I got four of these. And I think they probably look like they're plastic, but they're not. They are glass, and they're actually very heavy, and they're adorable. And I'm not sure if you can... But they were 65 cents each. I actually did not take these out of the package yet, so you can see that they were 65 cents each. And um, I have been putting them, putting glitter um, in these and putting them on a shelf. Um, SS Crafter always has such beautiful displays and so does the Robin Laura um, has beautiful displays and they just both inspired me um, to put a lot of pretty things out. So, <coughs> excuse me, I saw those and just could not resist and I have a couple other ones hanging around but those are really 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 cute so am I done yes I am oh no wait um, a package of doilies that even in the dollar store would be a dollar and these are um, these were 20 cents so couldn't resist those either all right everybody pinkalicious hugs please be nice to one another no fighting no biting um, share the love give a hug Please don't. Try not to thumbs down. And um, happy, happy Mother's Day to all you lovely ladies who are mothers. And happy Sunday to all the other crafters who aren't mothers yet or um, just aren't mothers. So have a wonderful day. Thank you very, very much for watching. Oh, one more quick thing. I forgot. I, as I said, I was going to have a giveaway at 1,077 subbies. And um. I went and checked last night and I have a thousand and eight subbies so I have less than 70 subbies to get to you know to get to get to a thousand and seventy seven when I get to probably you know a thousand and sixty or seventy I will do a video and um, uh, show you everything I'm going to give away and again uh, I don't like the idea this is my personal opinion only that you have to do something to ha get something for a giveaway a giveaway should be just a giveaway out of the kindness of my of your heart um, and so uh, my giveaway all you will need to do is be a subby and leave a comment one comment per person that's all that's needed and you'll go in the bucket and I'll probably have first second and third prizes because um, you guys are all wonderful, and um, you've always been so generous to me, and I certainly have to pay it back. So thank you very, very much. Have a wonderful day, wonderful night. Hugs and kisses to all of you. Pinkalicious hugs. Ciao, ciao, ciao.